Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Down in the earth, it gets warmer, about 3 degrees warmer for every 100 meter of depth. So you can imagine that in a few kilometers, the rock will be already quite hot. And of course, you might think of using this heat for geothermal purposes. But the rock in a few kilometers depth is also very hard and very compact. It's quite difficult to get access to the heat of the rock. However, there's a way that works for this purpose. It's called the hot dry rock method. By chance, we made a little movie about geothermal energy this year together with the Institute of Film and Picture for Science and Education, FWU. They make all kinds of movies for pupils and schools. Our movie about geothermal energy actually turned out very good and we asked the FWU if we could use the sequence about the hot dry rock method for fun with drilling engineering. And they kindly allowed us to do so. Thank you very much. So here we go, we'll show you now the excerpt of the movie which deals with the hot dry rock method. The geothermal expert Professor Matthias Reich explains the process. In deep geothermal energy, we use a deep well to produce hot water from the earth and get it to the surface. There we use the heat, then we inject the cool water back into the earth via a second well. Here's the challenge. In order to allow the water to pick up enough heat on its way from the cold well to the hot well, the end points of the two wells must be far enough apart so that the water has enough contact along its way within the hot rock. But what if there are no deep hot water flow paths in the underground? What if we still want to use geothermal energy of the rock? Here we have to use a trick to get the geothermal energy. We create artificial cracks in the reservoir or widen already existing cracks. Now we can inject cool water into the reservoir. The water heats up and can now be pumped back to the surface as hot water. This process is called hot dry rock method. But how does it work in practice? We can generate such fracks in the underground rock if we inject water into the boreholes at a very high pressure. If the pressure exceeds the rock strength, the rock bursts and cracks are created. In practice, this is of course a very complex process because these cracks must run for several hundred meters through the underground rock to meet the frags from the other well and somewhere in the middle so that the loop is closed and water can be circulated through the system. We now want to show you an experiment how these frags are created. This jelly pool in here is supposedly my hard rock. And in this hard rock, we now drill our first borehole. And through this borehole, we now inject vanilla custard. Wow. Look at how the first fracks are created. Isn't it very beautiful? Now that the first fracks are finished, we drill a second borehole in a certain distance from the first one and do the same thing again. And of course, we hope that the fracks will connect in the middle so that we can pump water through the system. It's always exciting to find out if the fracking procedure is successful or not. Not only in this experiment, but of course also in real environment in the field. One borehole produces hot water from the underground to the surface. The cold water returns to the underground through the injection well, warms up along the way through the fracks in the rock to the production well and closes the cycle. So that is how all dry rock method works. Deep geothermal energy offers very high potential to contribute to the energy transition. It is always available in summer, in winter, a day and night. It is also environmentally friendly and does not produce any exhaust. But there are also many people who still have reservations about ge geothermal energy. Their protest against geothermal power plants. Obviously, we still have to deal with this matter and continue explaining in detail how geothermal power plants work how they are built or prepared, the pros and the cons, 
compared to conventional coal, oil, or gas power plants. That's what we do, for example, in our lecture, geothermal energy production here in Freiburg, which is available for everyone. We look forward to see you in our lecture hall. Look off.